The Ark of the Covenant was the most important artifact for the people of God. It rested in the Holy of Holies in the tabernacle. It contained the two tablets of the law, and it had the golden mercy seat. And that was where God's presence dwelt. Well, in chapter 5 of 1 Samuel, after the Philistines defeated the Israelites in battle, they captured the ark and they brought it to one of their prominent cities. And it's like they were trying to, to taunt or to tease or even belittle God by placing the ark in the temple of their God, a God by the name of Dagon. But after the first night of the ark being in Dagon's temple, the idol was found face down on the ground. So the Philistines propped Dagon back up, but the next morning, not only did they find their idol on his face again, but his head, his hands were broken off of his body. And instead of repenting and maybe turning to the Lord, seeing that their idols were no match for the God of the Israelites, they were struck with a plague of tumors and they moved the ark to Gath, another Philistine city. But plague broke out again there. So they moved the ark a third time to a third city with the same exact result. You know, it became so obvious that the God of Israel was mightier and greater than the idols of the Philistines that we read in verse 10 and 11 that the people said, they're bringing the ark of God of Israel here to kill us too. The people summoned the Philistine rulers again and begged them, please, Send the ark of God of Israel back to its own country, or it will kill us all. What an interesting account of the power and the might of God's presence in the camp of the Philistines. You see, not only does this chapter clearly evidence a truth that is often spoken of throughout the Bible, that there's only one true God, and that he is above every other false idol. But this chapter, it also gives us insight in how to deal with idols in our lives. See, we may not struggle with ancient idols like Dagon, but the list of things that can take the place of priority in our lives, the place where God belongs, well, that list could be endless. See, Dagon could not stand in the presence of the Lord. So too, to topple the idols in our lives, bring in the ark. Bring in the presence of the Lord. Spend time in his word, time in prayer, time in fellowship with him and his people. Because the idols of this life don't stand a chance in the presence of God. <music>